What's up, chosen fam? God wants you to have patience. He's coming through for you. Just keep trusting in him. Don't lean on your own understandings. When things aren't looking like how you want them to look, just go into prayer. And he's going to show you and confirm to you that everything is going according to his plan. Everything. It says here in Galatians 6, 9, And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. Do not give up. Do not give in to what the enemy is trying to sow into your mind. Saying that God isn't coming through. Saying that you will not be blessed. Saying that it will take this amount of time. No. There's going to be a perfect appointed time when God is going to bless you. Some of you are in need of a career. Some of you are in need of a job, finances, to feed your family, to pay your bills, to pay your rent. Whatever the case may be, God is going to come through for you. God said a man shall not beg for bread. He will come through for you. But you have to have faith in him because he said it's hard to please him if we're not having faith in him. He hasn't forgot about you. Remember who God is. God is the one who sent his only beloved son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. He loved us so much he sent his only beloved son. That means the world to him and gave his son for a sacrifice so that we may have a relationship with him. Why would he not come through for you? Why would he not bless you? Why would he not want to feed you and your family in many different ways? Why? But the enemy doesn't want you to, he doesn't want you to come into that revelation that God loves you, that God is more interested in yourself and your life than you are. God loves you more than you can possibly imagine. Why wouldn't he not come through for you, beloved? He wants you to have patience. And he wants you to not lean on your own understanding. There's a point in time. There's an appointed time and season that God is going to bless you. But in the midst of their circumstances, in the midst of your situation, God is going to come through for you. Because he loves you and he knows what you need. God is good. He always supplies his children what we need. Always. So don't lean on your own understanding. And don't look at your situation like this is your, this is just what you need to accept because it's not. Just have faith that he's going to come through for you. Just have faith, beloved. And Father God, as we come before you, we thank you for this word. We thank you for coming through for us. We thank you for installing patience inside of us, Father. For you are great and almighty. You said seek your kingdom first and your righteousness and all of it be added on to us, Father. We've been seeking you. We've been doing your will, Father. We ask of you to pour down your blessings, to pour down your miracles, pour down your, your manna for us, Father. Your goodness, your glory upon our life, Jesus. For we are great to give you glory and to give you praise, Father. For you deserve it. You deserve it, Lord. And forgive us of our sins. Forgive us for anything we ever did or said that has ever offended you, Jesus. Forgive us of our sins. But let your will be done in our life, O oh Lord. Continue to lead us, guide us, and direct our paths into what you want us to do, Father. Continue to open up our understanding. Continue to fill us with your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord. And use us ever the more for your glory. We thank you, Father, for coming through. For we already know that you're going to do it. For you are great and almighty. Your kingdom come, your will be done as it is in heaven and earth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God is going to come through for you, beloved. And everything is going according to his plan. So keep trusting in him. And keep believing in him. Because he hasn't forgotten. If you got rent, that's due. If you got bills, that's due. If you're behind, he is faithful to finish the work he has started in you. He is faithful to come through and to bless you with everything that you need. Because he loves you more than you can imagine. He loves you so much. He's going to come through for you. So keep your faith. God bless you, Joseph. Family.